Hello, my name is Stephen Mayu, and this is my video series on practical JavaScript, where I walk you through the algorithm challenges at freecodecamp.com. In this video, we will do the repeat a string, repeat a string challenge. I've got it open up here. Uh, and basically, it's a really straightforward. Repeat a given string, which is the first argument, uh, num times and that's the second argument. And return an empty string if number is a negative number. Uh, okay, so this function is going to take uh, two arguments here. Okay, so the string and number, and, um, and if it is a negative number for the second argument, then we're going to return uh, an empty string. Um, Compared to the other challenges that we've seen, uh, this is quite easy. So it's not going to take us the whole 15 minutes um, to, to do this. Uh, but anyway, got my Atom editor open. Uh, I went ahead and created a new JavaScript file, uh, 8 underscore repeat underscore uh, string and .js, and I went ahead and um, embedded that on line 11 in my indexed uh, HTML file. And uh, let's just get started. Uh, what do they call it here? They call it function repeat string num times. Okay, so that's what we'll call ours too. So function repeat string num times takes a string and a number. Okay, and uh, we'll just get this going right here, repeat string num times, and I think it was ABC, and then three, that was theirs. Okay, so um, basically we need to just set up a, you know, a very simple condition. Um, so if a num is greater than zero, or I guess we could do greater than or equal to zero. All right, then uh, we're going to do string. And guess what? This is so easy. There's a repeat method for strings in JavaScript. So uh, string str dot repeat, and then we just pass in the number of times we want to repeat it. So num. That's it. Okay. And um, I'm just going to go ahead and put a return statement in here. Okay, I'm going to save that. All right, go to my HTML file, have it opened here, and I need to, I need to get the JavaScript console up. Okay, all right, I'm going to clear that out, and I'm going to refresh the page, and there we have it. Uh, it's kind of hard to see, but ABC, ABC, ABC. It works. Okay, uh, let's just make sure, let's do another test with uh, zero and with a negative number. Okay, and let's see, zero, and then, okay, negative number two, okay, All right. Okay, uh, so actually here, um, mm, mm, okay, it's giving us, um, it's getting us nothing. Uh, all right, so I'm just going to go ahead and change this. Uh, since the free code camp uh, test, they, they actually don't even uh, mention zero times. They do mention a negative number, but it says, return an empty string if num is a negative number. They never mention zeros though. Uh, so if you pass the repeat method a zero, it looks like you get a blank string. It looks like you get nothing. Um, okay, I'll just go ahead and leave it in anyway. All right, um, <clears throat> so it looks like we get a, a blank a string for zero. Um, even though the instructions don't really mention that, but we get an undefined for our negative. Okay, so we got to um, basically uh, just do an else block. Okay, and return. Okay, just an empty string. Save that. Okay, and um, all right, you don't see anything. Um, but this is ABC, 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 and then that's an empty string, and that's an empty string, uh, even though you don't see anything right there. Um, and uh, we do greater than or equal to zero 
um, uh, and apparently zero um, prints out an empty string. So uh, yeah, free code camp doesn't mention that whatsoever. Um, uh, so, okay, there we go. Well, we might as well just, oops, might as well do this if it's greater than zero, because uh, that'll essentially do the same thing for us. We go here. What's this? Okay, yeah, and then we get the same result. All right, so um, greater than or equal to zero or greater than zero, it's the same thing. Um, I'm going to do this condition just on one line, um, and, and uh, it's a pretty neat trick. If you have a, a very simple, you know, if uh, else block, um, it, it, like like the one that we have here, um, you can use something called a ternary operator, um, and it, it's basically the same logic, but it's on a single line. And uh, because I love using as few lines as possible, uh, I'm going to show you this uh, pretty neat trick that you can use for your next assignments. All right, so same logic, but we're going to start with a return, okay? And then I'm going to say str. No, I'm going to say num greater than zero. Then I'm going to put a question mark. Okay, just trust me. Then I'm going to write out str repeat num. Yep. Then a colon and then empty strings and then a semicolon. I'm going to save that. Go to the browser, make sure everything Okay, and it runs exactly the same. All right, so what is happening here? All right, this is our if-else block, but it's in this uh, kind of ternary kind of um, kind of situation, ternary operation. So we have uh, some uh, comparison happening here, okay? And it's going to return true or false. And uh, if it returns true, okay, uh, it's going to do whatever is on the left side of the colon. And if it returns false, it will do whatever is on the right side of the colon. And because we have this return statement, okay, it will return this operation if num is greater than zero, if it's true, or it will return an empty string um, if this is false. And basically that's it. So um, I'm just going to copy this here. I'm going to copy all of this actually. Okay. And just I'm going to undo all of this stuff. Okay. So what we have here, okay, we just make it a single line and that's it. It's, it's so much cleaner, it looks so much better too. And now you can use this um, for the other challenges. Works really well with simple uh, if else blocks. Uh, so if this is true, then do this, otherwise do that. Um, so really good trick to know. Okay guys, uh, that's all for this challenge. I told you it was super simple. Um, there is a convenient um, repeat method for strings in JavaScript. Um, unlike, you know, other programming languages, you know, right now I'm learning Ruby. Uh, Ruby has so many methods right outside of the box, uh, so much more than uh, JavaScript. It seems like you have to do um, everything, you know, everything yourself in JavaScript, but um, this <coughs> repeat method does make this challenge so much easier. Um, so if you have any questions, comments, or if you want to share your solutions, please uh, do that and share it in the comments below. Uh, thank you for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Okay, take care. Bye.